Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for Take. So this is my OnePlus Nord 2 and I had installed the Pixel OS Android 14 basic custom ROM on this. So custom ROM developers had developed a Android 14 based Pixel OS for OnePlus Nord 2 before OnePlus officially start their Android 14 beta program. So it's a great achievement. To install this custom ROM, you have to downgrade your phone to Oxygen OS 11 and then you have to install the Android 13 TWRP on your phone. All the download packages for downgrading your Oxonos 13 to Oxonos 12 and Oxonos 12 to Oxonos 11 are given under video description. Video tutorial is also given under video description to flash the TWRP. Your device bootloader must be unlocked and USB debugging must be enabled under developer setting. Today in this video we will discuss all the working functions available in the ROM so you can confirm is it daily drivable build or not. Then we will check out all the Android 14 features available in the ROM. Next we will do the performance test of the ROM. We will also review the features available and given by the Pixel OS. At last I have shown some major bugs in the ROM with my final verdict. So watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. Boot your device into the TWRP. In the TWRP, now tap install and flash the new Pixel OS Android 14 based ROM zip file. Its link is available under video description. After flashing gets completed, tap wipe and then do the full format using format data option. Then reboot to the system. Device started to boot into the gorgeous Google's boot admission. Once setup got completed, your device will boot to this latest Pixel launcher of Android 14. Now let's jump to the about device section. This ROM comes with the latest version of Android 14 upside down cake with its new easter egg which has hidden space war tab game inside. Security patch is of latest November 2023. Kernel version is upgraded to 4.14.302. It is the same kernel that comes with the Evolution X ROM that we reviewed last time. Build date of this ROM is 23rd November 2023. So ROM is based on the, all the latest sources for better performance and stability. Next I did the complete checkup of all the functions so you can confirm if this build can be used as a daily drivable build or not. I checked everything like Wafa, Wafa hotspot, connections, NFC, GPS location, OnePlus alert slider, all are working fine. Bluetooth is also working but it has some issues that we will discuss under the bug section of this video. All the Vue LT 4G and Vue NR 5G calls are working and call recording function is available under the dialer and it's also working fine. Hey Google on screen activation is also working fine but off screen voice activation is not available. I did all the sensor testing using device info application and sensor application and all these things are also working fine. As snap safety net getting passwords so you can use all the banking or security applications in this ROM. ROM comes with the Lineage OS Aperture camera application and it's a basic camera application. So I installed the Shamim Gcam build and it's amazingly all the things are working in this camera application. Like photos with the portrait mode for the both the front selfie and main camera. It has SDR and many more customizations while taking pictures. Night sight, panorama mode, photo spare modes, all are working fine. For video recording, both the slow motion and time lapse are working. Video recording is only working up to 4K 30fps. Video stabilization is also working fine. Only thing I didn't found is the ultra wide camera angle modes, except that all the things are working in this camera application. This Shamim camera version 9.1.098, its link is given under the video description. Now let's take the overview of all the Android features available and working in the ROM. I will not explain them, they are self-explanatory.
let's check out the rom set features available as this is based on the pixel experience so it has very few features like battery saving feature called as the pause applications who can manually pause any battery draining application present in the device this helps to save battery a lot all the pixel gestures features are available under the system and gesture setting like one-handed mode navigation modes playback control and many more under the app section we get the clone application setting so we can use two versions of the same application in the single device with the different accounts in the app drawer all the cloned application will be available under the work profile section under the display setting we get the double tap to wake and sleep on the lock screen and they are working fine under the ambient display gestures some unique ambient wake up gestures are available like pick up hand wave and the pocket modes rom is amazingly smooth with the good haptic feedbacks who will not feel any kind of lag in the rom it also has the good ram management i tested the performance using the geekbench for single and multi core performance i got the scores of 1699 3070 Both are nearly same as scores available in the Geekbench database. For OpenGL and Vulkan graphics, we got the scores of 4395 and 4588. Both the scores are also nearly same as Geekbench database. Overall, ROM is pretty smooth. Now let's check out the important part of the video that is bugs present in the ROM. The most important first bug is about the Bluetooth. Bluetooth is working, it's connecting with the devices. but for earbuds or earphones you can't able to hear the audio even if device got successfully connected but other devices like phones are getting connected successfully and working good another bug is while unlocking the phone device brightness level up higher than the normal level which was a old bug of android 13 rounds but later it got fixed now but now it's come back once again Next issue is for the device play protect it's showing the device play protect uncertified so we can't able to install some applications like netflix on your device but it can be solved by the video tutorial link available under the video description so this is all about the new android 14 based pixel os for our oneplus not 2 it's in early stage of development only bluetooth and the google play protect issues may be deal breaking for some users for using this rom as a daily driver soon developers will fix these issues and we will get the new update until then you can test this new look of android 14 on your device using this rom that's it for today guys hope you liked my work then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for not to until then take care bye bye